Cauchy's integral formula allows us to compute integrals, but only if only one singularity is inside your contour C. So what can you do if you have more singularities? Well, in that case, we sometimes can still use a formula, but we have to be a bit careful, as you will see in the example in this video. We want to compute integral along the circle with radius 2, set norm set equals 2 of this function over here. So here we have our contour, and you see z squared plus 1 equals uh, 0 if z equals i and minus i, so we have two singularities inside. So we cannot use uh, Cauchy's integral formula directly, because for that we have to write it as some analytic function times 1 over z minus z0. And now we, can, we cannot do that because we have two singularities. We can uh, write maybe something like analytic times 1 over z plus i, but then we, uh, the, 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 the first part won't be analytic due to the singularity at my i z equals minus i, so we have a problem over here. Let's define, for example, for convenience, uh, g of z equals uh, z e to the power i z over z squared plus 1. So what can we do? Well, one approach is to write your g of z as two functions which both have only one singularity. How do we do that? Well, we can uh, <coughs> a separate fraction, 1 over z squared plus i equals 1 over z plus i times z minus i equals a over z minus i plus b over z plus i turned into one fraction, so you get a, a times z plus i plus b times z minus i over z squared plus 1 to find a and b. Uh, then compare a plus b times z equals 0 times z, so a plus b equals 0, and a times i plus b times minus i equals the 1 over here, so i times a minus i times b equals 1, and substitute b equals minus a, so you get 2i a equals 1, or a equals 1 over 2i and b equals minus 1 over 2i, so you can rewrite your function g of z as a sum, uh, take the 1 over 2i in front, z e to the power i z over z minus i minus z e to the power i z over z plus i. And now we can split our in integral of g into two parts. Integral first part with only one singularity, integral second part with also only one singularity. And now we can do both of them using Cauchy integral formula. For the first integral, we choose f, z f of z as z e to the power i z as our z0, we choose i and n equals 0. Uh, then we find the f1 of i, if we use Cauchy's integral formula, equals 2 pi i integral along uh, z equals 2 in norm of f of z divided by z minus i. Now we can compute uh, in this way our integral, which we want to compute, because z equals 2 pi i times the f1 and i equals 2 pi i, and f1 equals z times e to the power i z. Uh, so that gives us uh, an i is missing here, e to the power minus 1, and this one is correct again. So 2 pi over the Euler number. Then, second integral, same strategy. We choose as our f2, z times e to the power i z, z0 equals minus i, and again n equals 0. Plug everything in into Cauchy's integral formula, then you get f2 at minus i equals 1 over 2 pi i. Uh, integral uh, along the uh, circle with radius 2, f of z divided by z plus i. And now we want this integral over here, so we can compute that integral. That integral equals 2 pi i times f2 in minus i, so we get uh, in this case uh, 2 pi. Uh, f2 in minus i equals, uh, uh, plug in minus i over here, so we get minus i times uh, the Euler number, and i is also missing here, uh, but the here it is correct again, yields 2 pi times the Euler number. So we combine everything, the integral gz dz equals the 1 over 2i over here, and then the first integral minus the second integral, 1 over i equals minus i, which cancels out the minus signs over here, so it gives you an i over 2, the factor of 2 is cancelled, uh, the, the factor of 1 half is cancelled out with factors of 2 over there, 
So you get a pi over e uh, plus uh, pi times e, and take out the factor of pi, so you get i times pi times e plus 1 over e. Ah, you can simplify that if, if you want, it's not necessarily, but you can s observe that uh, this is exactly twice the cosine hyperbolic of 1. So the final answer will be 2 pi i times the cosine hyperbolic of 1.